Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, Michigan Center to Resolve if your printer is not accepting print commands on your computer. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search icon and you want to type in settings or select the gear icon to open up settings, whatever you prefer. And once you have the settings window open here, you want to go ahead and select the three horizontal lines up the top to open up the navigation panel. And then on the left side, you want to select Bluetooth and devices. On the right side, you want to go down to where it says printers and scanners and go ahead and open that up. And then select your printer from the list here. Again, it'll depend on your printer, obviously. I'm just going along with an example in my tutorial here. And you're going to select where it says open print queue. Go ahead and open that up. And if you see any items in here, you just want to go ahead and right click on them and then delete. So if you see any options in here, you just want to go ahead and cancel the printing. And you can also cancel all documents as well. So you may want to consider doing that and then select yes. So that should have hopefully been able to resolve the problem. We'd recommend restarting your printer as well after you've done this. If you're still having an issue, something else we can try here would be to open up the search menu, type in CMD. Best result should go back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And into this elevated command line window, you want to type in NET space stop space spooler. So again, net stop spooler. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard to run this. Should say the print spooler service is stopping and then it should follow up with that with the print spooler service was stopped successfully. Next thing you're going to do is just go ahead and close out of here. Open up the search menu, type in services. Best result, check it back with services. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to go down to the print spooler service here. and double click on it. Go ahead and set startup type to automatic and then start the service. And then once you're done with that, select apply and okay. Would recommend trying to make your printing attempt once again. And if you're still having a problem, you can attempt to just restart your computer as well. And then hopefully your issue should have been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do it by simple to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.